there are some torpedoes out. Can we dodge them? This is really difficult weather to see. And we took torpedo hits. Oh, gosh. Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This is our 1920s German campaign. We are on to episode number two. It is currently October 1924, and just wanted to show you what we are up to. So we are currently building a boatload of new ships. Um, I believe it is something like 12 heavy cruisers, 6 light cruisers, and 19 destroyers. And my destroyers will be done soon-ish. So what I am doing is mothballing my obsolete destroyers in hopes that my one ally, Grease, will start buying them up. Um, and how you mothball is you take this destroyer here, which is one of the soon-to-be obsolete ones, and you go to set crew and drag it till it goes all the way to zero, and it'll say ship status will be set to mothballed. And it reduces the monthly cost, and your allies will try to buy mothballed ships from you. Now, you get a choice of like yes i will sell this or no i won't sell this you could also mothball ships if you're in dire straits or um you know you want to save a bunch of money during peacetime but keep in mind there is a cost to um to not mothballing them so oof, yeah um for science it'll cost me two million five hundred 58 to unmothball this ship and it takes a month and that's just a small little destroyer and unfortunately I can't go set it back so that's a slight little hit I take here just to show you guys how to do that and you know the the downsides of mothballing ships but we are doing pretty well um Russia and our fleets are you know we're, uh, we're not liking each other so probably a war with russia incoming that uh, i welcome that as long as they don't invade our territories with tons of troops that's always uh you know something that's a little bit scary as far as finances go until our ships are built our tech budget is a little low not too happy about that um but you know 50 percent for how many ships we're building we're building 370,000 tons of ships so not too shabby but that's where we are and we're pumping our resources into big guns mark 3 15 inch is what we need to start contemplating building battleships so that is where we're at. actually um i feel like i don't need to prioritize that because we don't have any availability to build in eight months is perfectly fine i feel like in eight months that'll be a perfect time to start building new battleships and just like that one month after mothballing some of our ships greece is starting to buy up our obsolete destroyers so they're offering 14 and a half million for ddv18 which is 43 percent of its original cost would i agree I just want these ships gone, and so I will click yes. Unfortunately, they only purchased one of them, and I'm going to go back to uh, mothballing that one poor, poor crew here. They're like, are we, are we a thing or not? So I don't know if Greece will buy all of these ships. I might have to scrap them. Um, I really need more allies, is what I need. Nice thing is our last three battle cruisers of the Byron class are being built or they're being commissioned so that is a nice chunk of tonnage available to build more ships and um, our monthly balance is equalizing a little bit more all right it is October 1925 and things have finally broiled over with Russia and it looks like we are going to war so we're taking the option of plus 15 naval prestige plus two unrest and minus 30 relations with Russia should put us into war yep Germany and Russia go to war who does that anger angers France and Italy and Austria-Hungary and 
think that's oh, in China. So a lot of stuff I don't necessarily care about there. Greece is still buying ships from us. I would like to point out that we have started a new invasion of Czechoslovakia. Um, it was near like 500,000 troops for us, but maybe the war with Russia, we moved troops over to Estonia. So um, I need to reconfigure our ships a little. I'll probably move this fleet into the Baltic Sea and put these guys on sea control. And I might put a fleet here, although I'm not necessarily worried about them bringing ships around this way. I could just put my battle cruiser um, and light cruiser fleet over here on sea control also, and that should do it. So we shall see if we have some combat coming up soon. December 1925, and we have our first battle. This should be a good one. It is our three larger battle cruisers, which I call battleships, facing off against two of their battleships. Um, we're about the same size, relatively similar guns. Uh, they do have 12 guns per battleship, whereas we have eight guns per battleship. And then they have a very strange assortment of secondary weapons and some torpedoes. They are pretty slow. I mean, we're only four knots faster, but should be should be a good battle. Let's dive right on in. Unfortunately, it looks like it is a massive gale and we will have to figure this out. Okay, so what I would like is, I want you guys, that's perfectly fine. Put you on, avoid other ships. And let's see, avoid other ships and torpedoes. Yeah, avoid ships, torpedoes. And how fast are we going? 24 knots. All right, let's push us up to times five speed. I would like... This is going to be really crappy. Um, if the devs ever watch this... We don't like fighting in this weather, and I'd be curious to know how many naval engagements happened in weather like this. Um, this is really difficult weather to sail in. These destroyers would struggle mightily in this weather. Um, and look, they are still crashing into each other. Great. Alright, so let's see if we can catch the enemy trying to micro my cruisers into a proper position. Northeast. Am I even going the right direction? There's the ping right there. And... Those cruisers are now struggling. Yep, the weather's getting even worse. So that's good to know. We should be heading directly, no, a little bit off course. Hopefully this isn't a ghost battle, that would be absolutely asinine. Here we go. Alright, let me not pause, didn't mean to pause, slow down. So they are heading toward us. This looks like they're battleships. I would like to turn to our starboard side. That way our cruisers can um, properly screen us. And let's change the speed again. I would like our broadsides to come to bear against the enemy. And now we can't see the enemy. Shoot. Looks like they have laid smoke, which is always 
obnoxious. Lots of ricochets so far. Nothing major yet. Looks like they are shooting our second ship in the line. And still need our cruisers to... That's a lot of blocks, a lot of ricochets. All right. Now we are starting to hit them a little bit better. There are some torpedoes out. Can we dodge them? This is really difficult weather to see. And we took torpedo hits. Oh gosh. How bad were those torpedo hits? Nothing, nothing major, but problematic nonetheless. Let's turn you off of torpedo evasion. Actually, let's keep you on torpedo evasion. I cannot see these torpedoes at all. Um, let's see, can we get off of torpedo evasion and turn our ships around? And we need to turn again. Hard, hard turn. Uh, I can't see these torpedoes at all. I have to move in a little bit closer. Sorry guys, you won't really be able to see what my ships are doing per se. I wonder if I can get in a little bit closer. There we go. Alright, looks like we have knocked out a lot of their cruisers. And let's see what we can do for our battle cruisers. Can we go a little slower on our cruisers? And they are... I think it's because of the flooding from the torpedo damage. Is our destroyer going to run straight into us? Hopefully not. And let's see if our battle cruisers can get back into formation. That would be fantastic. This is looking a little bit more like a proper formation. Alright, so their battleships have taken very little damage. Um, that being said, we haven't exactly taken a lot other than that first torpedo salvo. And as I said, this is very difficult weather to... to see. Our 8-inch guns are doing okay. Really trying to straighten out this line. I would probably like to change course soon because we are outpacing our battle cruisers very quickly that being said they're not really making a move on us looks like we are keeping a nice distance to them Looks like we are starting to pummel their big ship. What can I get from there? Radio Advance, Acoustics, Hydro 3. There's some torpedoes in the water. So I will maneuver our cruisers around and see if I can... I would also like to maybe maneuver our battle cruisers back around. Our battle cruisers are moving incredibly slow at the moment. The maneuverability of them is not great whatsoever. Uh, we lost sight of the enemy, which is never good. 
Looks like our cruiser and battle cruiser have collided. So still some major collision issues that happen. Come on, battle cruisers. Just absolutely miserable weather to be facing the enemy in. I really need our battle cruisers. Looks like there's another torpedo um, barrage incoming. I don't really want our cruisers to face their battle cruisers. Oh boy, did we dodge? That's some really risky maneuvering. Looks like we took a torpedo hit. A single torpedo hit is fine. Alright, I need you all to get off of torpedo evasion right now because I need you to group back up. And I think we're doing alright. Speed is terrible. Need them to uh, get back up to speed. Where are our cruisers here? Sort of doing circles, trying to get back into a formation. Those torpedo barrages, especially in this weather where I can't see it, are really messing with our formations. I wonder if... The problem is my lead ship is so much faster than the others because it's taken so much less damage. Alright, let's see if we can get back into a proper angle against the enemy here. Oh boy, more torpedoes incoming. That might be a direct hit. It is. This is just so difficult to see. need my cruisers out screening. Been doing a terrible job of that. And the enemy, of course, they just spam torpedoes. That is, that's what they do in this game. Thing is, in weather like this, um, those torpedoes, wow, is that really going to, I thought at a great angle. Okay. Well, I got lucky with a dud there. Um, in this kind of weather, those torpedoes should just all be duds. Um, very few of those torpedoes should actually work. Alright, I need you guys to get off of torpedo evasion. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, this is... Yeah, so like, the enemy should have terrible firing solutions on their torpedoes. This is just causing nightmares to form up. So not only should the enemy have terrible firing solutions, but because of this weather, these torpedoes should just like have zero accuracy whatsoever. But unfortunately, the game doesn't really do that. And these ships, even though it's saying like, you know, 19 knots, because we can't really get a... We can't properly form up. Our speed is terrible. We're starting to do a little bit better here. I really need my cruisers to stay out in front of the battle cruisers. I mean, we're very close range. Really need them to take out the small ships and for our big ships to 
work on... Can you hit that one? Hansa, can you hit that one? And Wolfsburg, can you hit that? And here we go, here's some torpedoes. So once again, messing up our formation. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, gosh. Our sonar didn't pick that up. There's a flash fire on their battleship. Alright, where are our battle cruisers? This looks like a decent heading. Our other two battle cruisers. Well, they're out of formation, so maybe this is a terrible heading. If we could, um. If we could cross, that would be helpful. What do they have left? Sure, they must be running low on. Alright, their battleship is about to sink. I think this is the one that had the flash fire. So there's one battleship down. Their destroyers and cruisers, they have to be low on... Oh god, I say that. There's a huge wave of torpedoes. That was almost a collision. Really need our battle cruisers to move up this way. These battle cruisers are not maneuverable at all. This is something we need to fix with uh, new battleships. But I think we are doing a decent job here. We've taken a bunch of torpedoes. A lot of that is just the inability to see what's incoming. This is these conditions are not conditions that you would sail a major fleet out into, nor taking the massive engagement in. Alright, I think this is reasonable now. Our battle cruisers are in the rear. I like this. I I think this formation works right now. So that's uh Let's straighten out our battle cruisers. And see what damage we can do. Um, looks like some of my turrets are locked here. That's an annoying bug. There's torpedoes incoming. Wonder if I can turn. Oh, that I miscalculated the angle of those torpedoes badly. And got lucky with a dud. Um, yeah, my my A and B turret are jammed on the stair. That's really unfortunate. And with the Hansa, what about the Wolfsburg? Um, uh, A is jammed. What about yeah? Man, that's a lot of jammed turrets. Do you have any jams? So it looks like it's mostly just my cruisers that have jams. I wonder... Can I fix that in any shape or form? Um, what were some of the fixes people said? Like, off, off, and then normal, normal? And there's torpedoes incoming. Don't really have time to troubleshoot because of... This is just... This is a massive amount of torpedoes that the enemy has. And looks like I turned wrong again. And got lucky again because of a dud. Alright, need these battle cruisers to come back. Um... Yep, nope, they're still jammed. Uh, not save. Normal. What if we go HE, HE, AP, AP, auto, auto, no. Turrets are stuck. That is... 
incredibly frustrating and incredibly disappointing, and it's it's like that on all of my cruisers, so there's something wrong with the collision on these cruisers. I mean, this cruiser, like, three of its turrets are stuck. So... Hmm. And those are our new cruisers that we built, too. Wonder if I put them on AI control? No. That doesn't fix it. I don't know. That's really bad. That's a lot of our firepower gone. A lot of firepower gone. We're basically just shooting secondaries. That was a huge head on that little torpedo boat. We'll have to keep an eye on that if it's just an issue with this cruiser's design. There's more torpedoes incoming. Um, even though it said our design was fine. As you can see, it's uh, basically every single one of our uh, cruisers has locked turrets. Very weird. It's like they rotate too far, and yeah, gosh. Nope, those ones are rotating fine. I don't know. Oh boy, I didn't put them on torpedo evasion, so they probably took a walloping. Because they look a little worse for wear, and it looks like they're changing formation. One of my least favorite parts of this game is the formation changes. Um, but yeah, it looks like I forgot to put them on torpedo evasion, and it looks like they took some torpedoes. The amount of torpedoes that the enemy has... Wow, they still have torpedoes left. We'll make it through this battle. Would help if I had, you know, a bunch of 8-inch guns that could fire, but... Sorry for the silence there, was just sort of thinking I, I should probably submit a bug report for uh, all of these locked turrets. Alright, I think they only have a couple light cruisers left. Um, thankfully our secondaries are still firing. I might need to go um, standard ratio for our cruisers with the 8-inch guns. They burn through their HE. Only firing with two barrels is absolutely brutal. Trying to see if our secondaries and the ones that actually have a couple turrets left can take these ships out. It'd be nice to completely crush this task force that the Russians sent into the Baltic Sea. Especially because it did quite a bit of damage to our battle cruisers. 
um, mostly out of my incompetence at uh, dodging torpedoes in <laughs> gale force weather. It'd be really nice if somebody could create a mod that would give you control over weather. Um, as I said before, I, I, I would dare somebody to find a major naval engagement in this kind of weather and see if one of them happened historically. Uh, because this, as I said, this would tear the destroyers apart. Um, cruising at combat speed. Alright, major victory. I imagine that the Russians will sue for peace after this. Looks like we sink every single one of their ships. Uh, as far as our ship, some decent main gun accuracy. I like to see in the teens. Um, our cruisers, some of them didn't do too well. Our battle cruisers did the most of the damage. The stair, stair did a lot of damage, and so did the Wolfsburg, um, and so did the Hansa and the Friedrich Karl. Uh, destroyers didn't really do anything. That's just generally how destroyers uh, go. Just as I guess, the Russian government desperately asks us to sign a peace treaty. Should we accept? Um, I doubt they have anything left. And I don't really want to risk a land invasion, so I'll hit agree for now. So just taking a quick look at the Russians. So they do have four battleships and five battle cruisers, but I have a feeling those are on the other side of the world or not near us. Um, I need more information, really. Uh, best thing here... Like, I just, I don't want to lose Estonia. Estonia is really good for us. So, I do have a fleet in the Baltic. I might push it up to Kronstadt and sort of bleed them out. They got their one cruiser past us. That's all right. So, oh, this is, uh, this one needs to actually go back and refit and refuel so let's have our fleet from kiel move up into kronstadt and then this fleet here could just move a little bit further into this strait and i think that would be pretty good um as far as research goes so once this engines and boilers are done, I plan to work on building a battleship. I started building like a Bismarck class battleship. And my main issue was I was um, stuck within some weight confines. So I had armor forging make my main bell. I think it was like negative 6% weight. This boiler will give us um, some weight, minus 5% boiler weight. And hopefully this double-geared steam turbine will give us some weight savings. I didn't need a ton of weight, but it wasn't weight that I could actually um, shed. It was it was really difficult at where I was. So that's where we're at. We'll see what happens with Russia if, um, if we sign peace or not. I don't really care either way. I'm sorry that that first battle was in terrible conditions and couldn't see a lot. And that we had a bug, which reminds me I need to report that bug. So I will do that. Just an update. The war does continue after failed negotiations between Germany and Russia. So I have no feelings either way toward that. Looks like they sacked their admiral. British Empire provoking them. And Greece is continuing to purchase some of our ships. So good there. Looks like they can only purchase one ship um, every month, so rather interesting there. Uh, how's our fuel? Fuel looks good here. I wonder if we can uh, push this port even further. That'd be pretty nice. Just sort of bleeding them out. 
Um, I don't really see any of their fleets anywhere except for down here. That's a bunch of battle cruisers. And then what is this? This is probably that single cruiser that got through our blockade. I assure you it was a legal blockade too. Okay, yeah, so their fleets are mostly in the Black Sea and the Mediterranean. So if I start to see them moving up this way, I will move a fleet over here. Um, once this one is done being refitted, I shouldn't say refitted, but um, done with repairs, I might move this one up to Kronstadt move the Kiel fleet back over here and move the Emden fleet uh, into the North Sea, hopefully not provoking England too much. As far as research, one month till engines and boilers. So I can start designing, hopefully, within way a nice Bismarck-esque class uh, battleship. It does look like I can build it fairly well off of the modern battleship 2 hull. All right, so we have unlocked the double geared steam turbines and advanced superheater. So I will start working on the Bismarck class battleship once again. If I can design it how I want to design it, I'll show it off to you guys. If I can't, then we'll have to wait for further research to reduce the weight of the ship so it can fit. Um, it, it really is just weight that I'm really unable to shed unfortunately so I, it just comes down to research at this point all right we have successfully built our bismarck class battleship it's it's decent it i well it's is really good for where we are in the campaign and this shell i will be able to keep for a long time and just refit it as I upgrade or unlock newer technologies and I'm I'm pretty excited with how this turned out. Um, I did want it to be a little bit lighter but the modern battleship 2 hull the the lowest it can go is 52,500 which is roughly where the Bismarck was fully loaded. Um, I did increase the beam by 5% just mostly for aesthetics. Um, these turrets were a little too close to the edge for me um, but it has the correct front tower correct secondary tower the secondary turrets are in the correct spot the primary turrets are roughly in the correct spot ship should be a tad bit longer but you know i go on about that all the time that the, the ships aren't long enough in this game um but I, it has eight 15 inch barrels which is just like the Bismarck, and then it has these six turrets of 5.9 inch guns, which is just like the Bismarck. The calibers might be a little bit off, but that's all right. 30 knots is what the Bismarck was rated at, and our standard maximum uh, and spacious for quarters. Standard propulsion, I would have loved to go into shaft three, um, but we couldn't. We do have the geared turbines uh, or double geared steam turbines that helped us shed weight and then the uh, new boiler uh, boiler technology helped us shed weight. I would also like uh, anti-torp 3 but that'll probably be a refit later when we unlock more technologies that can shed more weight most notably uh, moving on from like Krupp armor to modern armor or something like that. Uh, as far as our armament um, I did go standard shells, and that was one of the ways I got underweight. I would really like this to be um, increased, but I just I can't fit it in. Went with the light shells. Now the Germans, from what I understand, did use lighter shells, and that was that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. I normally go super heavy in all of these campaigns, but I was reading some stuff about light shells and doing cap ballistic too with light shells. Essentially, you're hitting um bell armor more than you're doing plunging fire the super heavies are more for plunging fire whereas um the light shells are more for hitting belt armor itself so we have stereoscopic four sonar two rdf and then 14 inch main belt four and four for aft four for main deck two and two for 
um, four deck, aft deck, 23.1 conning tower, forge superstructure, and then citadel armors always starts at half of the main belt and half of the main deck. Turret armor is basically max. This could be like 21.2 or something, but we just did 21, 21, and 10 and a half for top. Three and a half are half of the seven. This could have been like 7.3 or something, but just round it down to seven. I did have to really cut some corners with weight here. Pitch is a little high for my liking. Roll is decent. Engine efficiency, I'd like it better, but it'll get better as we refit, unlock new technology. So it doesn't have all of the other secondary guns that the Bismarck would have, but in this game, those guns don't really matter. You just really want your primaries and your secondaries mostly. So pretty happy with how this came out, especially for the year. We're in the 20s. So that is fantastic that we essentially have our Bismarck class battleship already built. So that's where we're going to end today's episode. If you guys made it this far, I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. Greatly appreciate it. Helps out the channel tremendously. And as always, guys, until next time.